Today we are in Budlong Woods on the northwest side looking at a house by Keck and Keck built in 1946, very unusual on a very large lot, lots of gardens. And this is Avi Ron, the seller, and Jennifer South, his agent. Uh, to tell us a little bit about it, Avi, you bought, I think, five years ago, and you did a lot of updating. Tell me what you've done. Yes, sir. We start with the outside of the house. I tried to preserve the 1950s era uh, by incorporating those glass tiles. And then I enclosed the garage with a glass door. I open up the area next to the garage to accommodate a third car, or well, in this instant, I got my Airstream. You got your Airstream there, yeah, let's get a shot of that. So what you've done here is sort of extend the glassy look of the house with the glass tile and the glass garage door. Yes, sir. Right? Brought the Midwest. And then we cleared all the windows and all the shadows throughout the house all around. The house is sitting on a 120 feet lot by 125, and the additional double lot next to the house, which create half an acre in the city. So in the city, we've got a lot that is a half an acre in size. Yes, sir. That's really rare. Let's go in and see some of the updating you did there. So we come in, you're in a mid-century modern house, and you've done some things to Put a period picture. suit the era. Uh, Keck and Keck was very famous for all the built-ins throughout the house. All right. So you got a lot of closet area, a lot of storage area. But then one of the things about that era is the houses could be a little shut in, right? A little closed. Yes, sir. And you've done some things to open this one up. Uh, for example, this doorway I open up, and it opens up to the living room area. The living room area had two built-ins cabinets to kind of separate it. I felt that it should be all open, so I removed those cabinets. This is right. wonderful. This is the living This room. is the main living area with vaulted ceiling. And I love the uh, terrazzo floor. It used to be all carpeted, and I pour terrazzo floor throughout the main common areas of the house, and it's all radiant. So it feels really nice and cozy here. And the house is all uh, plaster, so you feel the, the closeness, you feel the warmth in the house. Sure. And you were telling me earlier about the terrazzo that you like it because of your Israeli background, it's common there, but it also is sort of a timeless floor, right? Yes, it is a timeless floor. It's very easy to maintain. It's very easy to clean. It doesn't keep any moisture or any, any mold or any other species in the floor, and it's, it's, it's timeless. You come here 50 years from now, it will look basically the same. Now let's talk about some of the cleverness of the kex. This is something I love that Jennifer pointed out. Here's the wood storage here. Right? Yes. And, and that goes into the center of the house. That goes into a mechanical room, so you bring in the woods from the other side and we'll go and take a look at that. So we've got it tucked away inside tucked the house. Tucked away, so you don't need to walk through the house. The, well, those right. are the kinds of features and the ease of living features that people don't always pick up when they look at the house. And obviously when they come in this house, they see the expanse. But these kind of little clever things Keck and Keck did allow for greater ease of living. Oh, yeah. And Keck, they were all about it, but they also were all about this sort of thing. Look at this view. You mentioned we're on half an acre. We're seeing a bunch of it here. You've landscaped most of this yourself. Yes, sir. But it's in keeping with the era of the house. Absolutely. We brought in some tropical plants, and we also brought in some uh, natural prairie gardens. So keep with the feel of the house. Wonderful. I want to mention the vents on this side. This is an original Keck Feature. device. These would have brought in natural air. And something you did, going back to the indoor-outdoor living thing, is you removed some here, right? I this removed the vent. center vent area, and I put this double French door so you can go from the living dining room area into the backyard. Sort of like you out keck <laughs> Kind of got us outside yeah. in a way that they hadn't really thought to. Great. We're going to go into the kitchen, but let's just take a quick look out here. Um, we just mentioned that you couldn't get outside right. from the living room. The typical way of going here. outside was through this sunroom, which later on I added an addition of a glass room to it. So all this back part here with the red floor, this is the new part. Yes, sir. And I use this room as, a, as an art studio. I like to paint and do some uh, mosaic. Oh, and okay. it's a wonderful play area for me. Oh yeah, this is a big, beautiful room. And again, we flow right outside. Into the out. This and house is about combining, combining exterior elements with interior. This room really was a great way to finish off the back of the house. Oh yeah, it's sort of a seamless mix of mm -hmm. interior and exterior. 
We're going to go to the kitchen area right now, uh, which I love to cook. It's one of my hobbies. So I created a kitchen that is functional and beautiful in my, in my view. It's not just pretty cabinet. It was all designed for the cooking professional. Uh, when uh, building the kitchen, I took measurements of the plates and the cups and all the cooking utensils and had the craftsman created those shelving cabinets and all the stainless steel was done by a company that make actually the work for Burger King and McDonald's. Oh, do they really? Yeah, they make their uh, kitchen. So it's all heavy duty stainless steel components. So what you've got here is sort of a serving area. Behind me, we'll go into the larger kitchen. But first, I want to point out these great clear story windows. These, of course, are a Keck original. You wouldn't have done this, right. right? And that brings beautiful natural light to the kitchen. Yeah, great. And there is. Behind Jennifer, there's a fourth bedroom. We're not going to go in that way, but bedroom, laundry, bath. Correct. To note, that is a suite, and it has its own access. Okay, great. Now let's look at the main part of the kitchen. So again, it's all a, it's all a non-residential appliances. Those are all through commercial. Uh, the only downfall is that it's loud, as we can hear the yeah. refrigerator. We may not stay in here too long. Yeah, today. and again, you got very large kitchen uh, sink with the commercial faucet, you got the commercial hood here, and you got the six burner, and you got the grill. And wow. the, the main reason for the hood is the grill. What that, do you cook on something so big? You throw in some steaks, chicken. Yeah. You do the barbecue that you typically do outside. You do it in a closed environment, right. which is beautiful. Yeah, too, you have a lot of custom added storage. Uh, the kitchen is deceiving the amount of storage Avi added. Uh, three custom pantry-like storage units that would accommodate in addition to the custom pantry on the walls. So Great. And speaking, you put in radiant floors, so we're back to the terrazzo you mentioned, and this is a great way to point out, you shifted from one zone to the other. We've got the terrazzo, and then we go into the bedrooms with this nice walnut, which first is thing, also radiant, right? First thing, the, the layout of the house is very smart for entertaining and living. You have all the main area, which is completely separated from the bedroom or the family areas. Mm -hmm. So you could be sleeping, you could have a baby sleeping, you close the door and have a wild party on the other side, and none will disturb the other. Have you tested that theory of yes. wild parties? Yes. Good. That was a Keck trademark to have the public rooms and the, and the family quarters, as they refer to them, separate, just for that very reason, to be able to compartmentalize the living, what was going on at the time. Sure. So in the bedroom area, I put the floating walnut flo floors that uh, created a little bit more warmth in the bedroom areas. Beautiful. Really nice floors. And it's radiant heat below. Yes, it is. So in the winter, that's got to feel great. Walking on a radiant heat wood floor has got to feel really good. It's beautiful. So this, is, this was an original bedroom, but it's now a family room, right? This is a family room or could be a playroom for the children. Because we've got two children's bedrooms off that way, off behind us. Correct. So now we're going into the master suite, which we had passed on the way in. Right? We're going to go into the master quarter and pay attention to these cabinets throughout yeah. this wall. Which this is a wall. Of, this is terrific. This is what, six, seven of these? One, two, three, four, five, six of them, yes. This is, so this is clothing storage. This is as big as, as a walk-in closet, easily. And as we know, closets are very important to people, closets and storage. This actually accommodates more... Uh, storage and hanging space than a walk-in closet. It gives you Great. much more. And you have linen on the other side. Great. It's got such a, this has such a nice orderly 1950s kind of a look. And know? it creates a noise shield from the living area. The clothes act as a natural insulation. Master bath you renovated. Master bathroom, I completely guarded it. It used to have the old tub and the enclosed shower. And I just felt that the shower would be sufficient here, so I put in a big walking shower. Yeah, I'm not sure if I can catch the fact, this, this is a two-person shower, right? I've got showers on both ends, fixtures yeah. on both ends. The I'm shower sure is I'm approximately catching. eight feet long okay. by five feet. And it is so a steamer. And a okay. steam shower. And nice tile. This is rainforest marble. Beautiful. Thank you. Very suited to the era, though. Yes. I mean, if they'd been doing marble baths, this is really terrific. And so here in the master, a nice big room. This is, this is big for a 50s bedroom. Yes. Or in this case, 1946 bedroom. But we've got the garden coming right in on us.